welcome back to my channel. So today I have a MAC haul for you all. And yes, this is not your typical MAC bag. This is actually a um like a paper MAC bag. And it's because I went to the MAC store and most of the time I always go to the MAC Club or at Macy's. But today I went to the MAC store and I'm super duper excited because they have things that are just limited to the MAC store or MAC online and they don't have them at the MAC calendar. So yeah. I went there and you guys are going to see things that normally I don't have at the MAC counter and I was going crazy because there's so many cool things in there that don't go there at the MAC counter and the dude there who said go come back because we're going to have a whole bunch of new collections that are going to be limited just to the MAC store so come back in a few months um, for that and I'm like oh my gosh I'm definitely going to have to so yeah let's just get right into this MAC haul. As you guys can tell, another thing before we get right into this video is that I am in a different location and this is actually my guest bedroom. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys around. So if you ever become a guest of my house, you know, if you ever come over to my house, this is where you would stay, if you know what I'm saying. So you'll stay in this room. So let's just have a tour of this room. Guest bedroom. So here we just have, as I was sitting on, I was sitting on, have the bed right there. Then I'm going to pick up this camera. And, and we have a lamp, and there's that. Then, moving all over, we have these curtains. I have these curtains, and in long, and then it has a curtain rod. I love it, and I love it, <laughs> I do. And then, here we have a little desk, and, and you can either do, like, you can write things on here, right here, because there's a mirror. You guys can tell, hi, it's me! And then, um... There's a mirror right here, and then you can sit on this chair, which I, which surprisingly, this chair is super duper comfy. Like, this chair is one of the comfiest chairs. Like, you really would never know that, but this is one of the comfiest chairs. Then there's a lamp right here, and just turns on, and in case you're writing something down, or if you're doing your makeup at night, you know, fixing your makeup up, you could always do it right here, which I have to fix my hair, girl. Little snooze snare set on there. I used to have it on there. We used to have it on the desk, so that started looking awkward, so then, yeah. And then, oh, this pulls down because you could put your keyboard in, your, like, um, keyboard to your, like, um, oh, you could put your keyboard to your computer on there, but it, um, we don't have a computer in here, so, yeah, um, like a desktop computer. Then there's just a little gold throw right there. Then in here, there's just um, boxes. Nothing in the boxes. They're completely empty. They're all just for decoration. They're like cranberry, which go with the whole room theme. Um, yeah. Then right here, I just have my tripod set up. And <laughs> moving along, another lamp that matches that side because your lamps are supposed to match because if they don't match, that looks awkward. And then there's this little scent thing that smells delicious. It smells like vanilla in case anybody, you know, you know, stinks up the room or something. You have those and then you just like, you know, flip it over to that side and to make it smell good. So yeah. Then here, the secret language of birthdays. I love this drawer. I'm going to open up the drawers too. There's a flashlight. Okay. A alarm clock, which we don't have up on the table because that looks ugly. And then a, um, is that like a Blackberry charger or something? Yeah, I think that's like a Blackberry card charger. I don't even know. Down there, there's like a little planty thing. It's like flake. Flake. <laughs> it's like flake. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> and it's like a fake. Fake. It's like fake flower. And then there's like weights, you know, in case your guests have to work out, ladies. <laughs> in case your work guests have to, you know, work out. Actually, they're just for decoration. They're like the olden days weights. I don't even know. But they're there. They look cute. Then right here, there's a ladder. And this ladder is decoration, and I love it. And I think it's really cute. It's like a decorative ladder. I think it's cute. I wanted it in my room, and I was going to paint it white, but no, it was not happening. Then here's a closet. This room's kind of identical to my room, but this, everything's over a different way. Anywho, so you open up the door, and look at what we have in the closet. In the closet, we have some pillows. There's a pillow, and then we have a, um, 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 um comforter in case anyone ever has to sleep on the floor. <laughs> okay, then we over here, we have a, um, uh, little thing. There's some towels, um, 
my camera just got all fuzzy. There's some towels, and, um, yeah. And I do not want to touch those because some kind of guest used that, and I don't want to touch that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, yeah, there's just towels in case anybody ever, you know, takes a shower or something. And then there's a candle in case, you know, you want to get a little bit romantic. <laughs> Actually, it's because in case the lights go out, you'll have a candle. There should be a lighter here, too, but we don't. We just have a candle. Books, you know, in case you ever want to get reading. You're reading on your board. Um, then, But you'll never be bored at my house. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, then you have a little foot towel thing when you get out of the shower. Here you have a little basket. We have a little basket in case you get hungry, girl. There's a Twix in there. A Milky Way. And then we got some raisins in case you want to get your healthy on. Some salt and crackers and a bottle of water in case you ever get hungry, girl. You're going to be in my house and you can just go right in my closet because I'm a sweet addict and you'll have some sweets in there. <laughs> just kidding. Then in here, well, there really is sweets in there. So, yeah, you can have that Snickers. Wait, no, there's no Snickers. A Milky Way, a Twix, some raisins. Mouthwash in case your breath smells. A little foot thing. Oh, I love these. There's a little lint remover and a iron in case you want to, you know, iron your clothes. You got a little wrinkly. There you have an arrow bag. I'm telling you, girl, people sleep on that floor. No, I'm just kidding. Then there's a ironing board. And then there's a little hanger thing with a hanger in case you have any clothes that have to get hung up. They're like specifically like a suit or something. Or like whatevs. So yeah. Wait, what is that? So that's the end of that cloth a little tour. There's no clothes in it because, you know, guests are supposed to come and put their clothes in there. Then right here, there's another door. And this door leads to a bathroom. And we won't get too into this because you see me now. And then there's just a little bathroom. And yeah, so that's that. Don't turn the light. There we go. The light's on. So yeah. I guess bedroom tour. And then we put our camera back on our tripod and bada beam, bada boom. Now you know what I'm talking about and looking at when I look over in that room. When I look over there, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm looking at. Let's move on to this menu now. Okay, so starting all up, let's look inside. So as you guys can tell, it's red inside, and then it's just, you can see, like, back through, it's like a paper bag. I'm super, super happy. I always see people out these, I'm like, where did they get it from? And now I know you just have to go to the map store. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so the first thing that I got is that something that I actually tweeted about to the link in the door about doing, doing board, down bar, it's at going out shopping, and I want to get this MAC mascara, and that was a couple of days ago, and I never got it because I went to the MAC counter and they didn't have it, and then when I went to the MAC store, they had it, and I was so really happy, and this is it, and that's what it looks like. And it's just this, the same mascara. It's kind of like the false lash mascara, but I was running out of that one. So I decided to get this one, and I almost forgot to get it, but then I remembered, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And this is brand new. Um, never used it, and they just came out with it. It's the same packaging of the other MAC balls, but this is so much blacker and makes your lash look so much falser. I don't know, though, but they say it does. So that's what that looks like. And I absolutely love MAC's mascaras. If you have not tried one, you should definitely go to MAC and ask for a sample. Because I think they're giving out those little tubes. They're like this big of like Zoom Lash. And you could ask for one of those. Because I got one and it works wonderful. I carry that one in my purse because it's a purpose size. And then I put this one. I use this one all the time. So, yeah. This is in False Lash Extreme Black. So, I'm super duper happy to use this. And now you're probably going to see this in my makeup tutorials. Hey, eyeshadow. And I absolutely love this eyeshadow because I think they only have it at the Mac store. And this is actually in. Did you see that? It like completely fell. Let's do an instant replay of that. I completely just dropped down my hand onto the floor and now it's back in my hand again. So this is actually in cranberry. And it is one of the prettiest colors. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like a pink mauvish orangey color and this is a frost it is so gorgeous like seriously it's not touched i just bought it today so i never touched it never used it or anything so that's what it looks like let's just watch this i'm so afraid to looks like a mythology and sable mixed yes definitely so that's what it looks like it's really pretty and sorry for the shadow because the lighting's really bad so yeah that's what it looks like and i love it and i cannot wait to use so the next thing that I bought from Mackie, in 
another eyeshadow. And this is, I think, I've never seen this one at the MAC counter before. So I'm sure it's just limited to the MAC stores. And this is the color in Tracks. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is the prettiest color ever. And I thought of using this one with the cranberry color because they just look so good together. Oh, thank you. And doo -doo -doo -doo, that is what it looks like. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at all those shimmers in it. It is so pretty. And then even when I move it down, you can see that it's kind of mattish. It's the cranberry color. The cranberry color is right there, and then that color is right there. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love it, and I cannot wait to try this one out. So the next thing that I bought is also another eyeshadow, and I'm gonna just get with the eyeshadows. And I, this is an eyeshadow that I absolutely love. And I saw someone using it in a makeup tutorial. So I decided to purchase it because it looks so pretty. And yeah, so this one is called Harper Plate. And it is so pretty. It's like the perfect brown and gray mixed. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Seriously, it is one of the gorgeous just eyeshadows ever. And this is a matte to the second power. And that's what it looks like. Look at how pretty that is. It is so pretty, so gorgeous. It's the perfect gray, and then it has a brown mix. And I, I was talking to the lady there, and I was like, the I have a gray color, but it always shows up blue. I think it's called Night Divine. I'll correct the bubble if I'm wrong. But it's called Night Divine, and it is one of the prettiest colors. But whenever I put it on my eye, it looks like blue, and then it reminds me of my grandma, which always wore like blue eyeshadow all the way up to her brow bone. And it kind of reminded me of that. So I wanted to get a more grayish gray color. And this one I think is one of the perfect colors. Except it has a little bit of brownish tint, which is perfect for me because I always wear brown. And yeah, so that's what it looks like next to all the other colors. And I so the next thing that I bought from Black Track Fluid Line. And it looks like that. And it's Black Track. Um, that is what it looks like. It's a really dark liner. And I love it. I tested it out. And it's like amazing. Here it is right there. It's the black one. Well, duh. I didn't buy any other black eyeshadows. And look at how like dark and perfect that is. And I was saying to the lady, is this a good liner? And she's like, yes, it is. It's waterproof too. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that's best. And she's like, I didn't really use it for my top, but you could also use it for your waterline. Thing that I bought is something that I love and I've been wanting it for the longest time. And every time I go to the MAC counter, the lady there recommends it for me, but I never brought down broke down and purchased it but today like why not why not go ahead and get it because I needed a new lipstick and dun -dun -dun, well I just gave it away dun -dun -dun -dun, it is a lipstick and it is a cream sheen lipstick and it is in the shade what what would you know me best of wearing <laughs> well dun -dun -dun -dun, it is in cream cup it is one of the prettiest colors I tested it on my hand while I was there and it is a cream sheen lipstick and it's in cream cup it is so pretty it is so pretty it's like a, a nude mixed with a pink it's kind of like angel mixed with Lady Gaga Viva Glam 2 and that is what it looks like look at how pretty that is that is one of the prettiest lipsticks ever Look at how pretty that is. That is so pretty. I love that. Okay, so the last two things that I purchased from Mac. The one thing that I absolutely love and I've been wanting last year, last year during the winter Christmassy time. And this is a brush, and I was gonna order it online, but I'm like, eh, is it really worth it? I'll just wait till I go to the Mac store. And every time I went to the Mac store, I completely forgot. And today I remembered, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get it. And this is the 231 brush. And this brush, I heard so many great reviews about. I just was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. And I think this was only, I think it was $16. I don't know. But what I was buying it to do was like, this is one of my favorite brushes. So it's the MAC 231, and I haven't bought a new brush in the longest time. I have not bought a new brush in a long time. So that's what it looks like. 
and it just is a like a sh flat shader brush but really really tiny and I think it'd be perfect for like smudging underneath the eye or smudging above the eye or for the crease um, yeah so I bought that brush and I can't wait to use it I'm gonna go clean it and I'm gonna wash it wash it and then I'm gonna go ahead and use it and um you guys are probably gonna see this in my makeup tutorials too and now another brush to add to my MAC collection I'm super duper happy okay so the last thing that I bought from is a doo -doo -doo -doo, something that they only sell and I got an email on it and I was super duper happy about it and then I realized it was not at the Mac counter I was like oh shucks they don't have that there so I'm like I have to go to the Mac store before they sell out of it and it is the straight art eyeshadow Boo -boo. and it is the street art eyeshadow I just said that and that's what it looks like it's just this black Mac black Mac and I got the one that's the prettiest one. I personally think it is so pretty. They were all pretty, but this one just stood out to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, Allie, you have to buy me. And this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. And it says New York on it, um, Jungle 2010. And that's what it looks like. And it is like graffiti, if you know what I'm saying. It's like graffiti-ish. That's what it looks like. It is so pretty, and it has eight different eyeshadows, and if the dude was telling me that worked there, it has eight different eyeshadows in it, so you can create so many different looks with it, and it goes all the way down to the pan, just not on the top, it goes all the way down to the pan, he was telling me. So that's super duper cool, I thought, and, um, wow, there's a little piece of plastic there, so I'm going to test out one of the colors. Whoa, look at how pigmented, that is so pigmented. Oh my gosh, I love the teal, look at the teal, that is so pretty. So yeah, this is what I got, and I've been wanting this for ages, and now I finally got it. It is one of the prettiest eyeshadow palettes ever, and yeah, so I might do a makeup tutorial using this once I try it out, because I've been needing to get a more colorful palette, and here I go, I got one of my favorite things that I saw at MAC since they were sending me emails, and I think that is so, can't wait to use it. So yeah, that concludes my MAC. Haul. I hope the guys enjoyed. If you guys have a Mac haul, go ahead and post it down below as a video response because I would love to see it. Um, but yeah, so I hope the guys enjoy and I hope that everyone has a great day, night, morning, evening, wherever it is, wherever you are. I hope that you have a great night, evening, day, morning. So yeah, and yeah, so I will see you guys later and I love you. One time I climbed up here on the thing and I wrote something up there. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like a little something. It was like, it's not a boom box, it's a pan. It's somebody's butt. I was into like drawing butts and something. Looking at you know what I see. So, yeah. I was sitting on the bed.